Good morning, William fam. I hope you guys are having a blessed up morning so far. I'm just currently getting, well, just finished getting dressed. Um, heading into town. Yeah, we got some errand to run and I got some stuff to do, but this is just the outfit of the day. Just got some shoes on and a tube top outfit, um, top and bottom. I was just checking to make sure that the video is going to be um, up to release for you guys later as well. So I'm making sure everything is proper with that. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, and then I have another one actually uploading. So I'm trying to keep up and make sure that my scheduling, you know, is going good. So yeah, guys, but I'm um, actually, Mario's just shining down the car out there, as you can see. So you see him out there? Yeah, I'm shining down the car. Because <sighs> he had it washed yesterday um but yeah we're gonna go run some errands and oh you know what i should have tried these on you know and i didn't even um think so i should i wonder if i should do that before i leave but you know what i'm gonna go do it and then come back uh, all right you see guys look i am ready before mr williams <laughs> and i'm in the car waiting on him me? Can't say I'm in the already before I make it to the car before him and I'm waiting. See, also lately I've me been waiting on him. Me been waiting on him. And I'm always just saying, Sean, hurry up. Hurry up. Go tell him, Sophie, hurry up. Oh, you see how long I sit down here to wait for you? Eh? Say it again. The people them know say me in here before you and they wait for you. Yeah, right. Wait me, yeah, right. So come true. You come Jaya out. Care, oh, so do other stuff. I ain't still not ready. Okay. Your face favor. I was waiting on you. Look at me. I call you. Yeah, right. Eh? Yes, yeah, so you're disgusting. You just love you talking, don't you? Eh? Yeah. You just love you talking for the what sake of the I never even could have connected you for me. I'm putting it in junk. Ox. <laughs> Guys, we've been in traffic for the last how much minutes we've been in traffic? Five, ten minutes now? Yeah. I don't know what is going on, but something they go on down along in. A good thing we're not in a hurry. Eh? Imagine if we did a guy here port and always stuck here so rotted. But I miss the flight. Eh babes? <laughs> you can't imagine. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we been sitting here just you know, sitting here in traffic holding a vibes. Well, vibes just reasoning. We love for reason. So we're just sitting here talking and stuff like that and taking time crawling down in the traffic like a turtle <laughs> oh gosh and taking in the scenery oh man something about the luscious green of island and sunshine like I I just love it I love it <laughs> you can't believe it babe and we have to go we're going over in, in what cold as soon well it, as one call time overseas again lord have mercy give us strength <laughs> i can't deal with the cold <laughs> oh lord but might as well soak in the sun well if the traffic finally moving let's see what's the hold up down here i think got something break down no I, them stop one side no one left one side Tied so through. because Almost something either something break down or something happened down here. That's not now come up. My battery's dying. That's so this down. is the infamous long hill. We're only for oh, cars. This here. What? Oh, pop off. oh no. Wow. We will pop off. That's why. It's man to come up in the line, man. What you they look for? Cho. <laughs> it was fast. In fast, eh? <laughs> oh lord so this is the reason why there is traffic you see the wheel is fully pushed out to the side I know it's not pushed on me I'm not going to know yeah full okay well you will be able to go down after this so so this is what the hold up there oh, forgot to get Rekka to come and take it up you know it nobody 
No, nobody in it. Probably have to abandon the car and walk. So that was the hold up. For how long? Figure it out. There's gonna be other people being held up. So, like I said, this is the infamous Long Hill. This is the hill where well, you hear whole heap of stories of car going over. I remember when I was young and I used to be so scared of this hill coming up here in car and this is why I was scared of bikes too because I had always loved um, riding on motorcycles but I, when I was young, I think I was about 5 or 6 when I was coming up this hill I actually seen a bike man actually go over go over there and let me tell you guys, you see it's the top of the trees so you must know it's very deep and these trees are tall 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 so much people have gone driving over there and died and you have one or two that hitch up in a tree and made it out in a car alive so yes but we finally reached town <laughs> oh yeah we yeah right so we are not there town even though town people call Montego Bay bush <laughs> we reached town this is one view I could never get over coming down and seeing the ocean that is just so beautiful Almighty I push them back Just fear no evil as you go No no <laughs> So hi, I'm just in the car. We just came back um, from the gift shop. Um, yeah, as you see, we bought uh, some close family friends, some gifts, um, and yeah, we're pretty much just here waiting. I'm waiting on Mario. Mario went to the supermarket uh, to go buy some stuff so he's gone to go get some stuff so I just wanted to get those stuff out the way um, yeah so we're just here chillaxing in the car and yeah, that is all I am doing for now I get and trying to get most of our um, the shopping that we have to get done but it's very busy busy down here so not that busy because it's very early morning the time is now what 10 43 see so see the time 10 well 10 40 yeah, so it's 10 43 jamaica time and the man them just hanging out to the man they're selling grabber they sell grabber and this is one thing that I love about Jamaica. The hustle and bustle of things. I never get hold the hustle and bustle of Jamaica life. 
Yeah, uh, man, they sell hot potty and cocoa bread. Well, at see the market cart, the push buggy cart. Like, I could this could never get old for me. I guess for some people, because they've lived here all their life, it gets old. But I think for us foreigner, like these little things, we enjoy it. We enjoy coming down here and watching these things as people that live here and I guess they're used to it you know they what they say they take it for granted but they always say things that you never have you tend to take it for granted are things that you do have you take it for granted and the things that you don't we as foreigners as they would call us we cherish these things because you don't really see these things overseas unless you go more well I don't know not necessarily like in Canada but but I know in um, the States I know like in New York like the Jamaican parts the urban parts and stuff you will probably see people selling stuff on the side of the road but having their little fruits and stuff like that outside but the only thing they have it but it's not the same oh, I fixed the lighting on this guys okay there they have they have it but it's not the same as how it is out here you just have people who put their little oranges and stuff out and that's it but it's it doesn't give you that homey feel like it does not give you the homey vibes at all and especially i guess with the pandemic now a lot of things has changed so yeah oh my gosh guys look at my tan line <laughs> it's actually kind of fading out but it was worse than this so it's slowly fading out but this was my tan line from my swimsuit fading out though and they say black people don't change color yes we do get a tan too we just don't go laying in tanning beds <laughs> we just actually out and we get a tan and I haven't been outside in a little bit so this is why it's actually lightening up because before you could have seen it way more than how you're seeing it now now it's actually getting light but soon you won't even see it at all that's the funny thing you won't even see it at all soon enough oh gosh it's almost that time the time is almost coming where we have to return home and it's almost like you know you're just dreading the day but it's coming me I always tell Mario this reminds me of like when I was down here and I'm down here for a while and then I leave I have to leave him and go over and I knew he couldn't come with me so everybody that's in an LDR know this feeling and even when you're not in an LDR you know the feeling of you know coming to Jamaica or visiting whatever island you're in an LDR with a person and you're down there and the time come for you to pack and it's like you drag it but the day come for you to go on vacation you're like counting down going through the days crossing them off on your calendar you cannot wait to leave and it just seemed like if it's like that one week you know you have one week before you leave to go on vacation it, it would come in like it's taking a whole two three weeks it seems like the span of time and then like when you're ready to leave now and you have like maybe one week left or a couple of days left before you leave it feels like for it feels like the time is just going it just seems like the time speed up so right now this is what it's feeling like to us it feels like the time is speeding up for us um to leave and i hate that feeling like i'm just home and content but and these are the reason why i tell you guys that we will do a video on the reasons we are choosing to move back home because you have people are like oh you're crazy why would you want to move back to jamaica there's no opportunity there and you know there's no room for growth but you guys are making a sad mistake because there's plenty of room for growth if you find investors coming to jamaica and investing billions not millions billions of dollars into jamaica right they're they're investing billions of dollars into Jamaica and trying to uplift Jamaica to where Jamaica was once at one point where the money was our currency was actually high you would know that Jamaica is a gold mine but you see for people that are uneducated in certain way are well think they're educated and don't like do their research and know certain things and facts and you're not in the 
you're not in the into no then it's a little bit harder see I have different walks of friends and I have friends in the high places that you know you can get certain insight on what's going on with the economy like stuff and stuff like that because you find so much people that actually do move out here and they're doing way better than what they were doing overseas they they're more happier with their life and I think that's what life is mostly about being happy because if you're on earth and you're miserable you're miserable at your job for number one you're miserable in the country that you're living for number two right you find ways to change it you either change your job find something better do something that you love something because at the end of the day they always say it's not always about money yes it, money is good to have but if you find something that you're content and it's something that you love doing and you're making money from it and you can live like a life where you answer to your own self right and you get up every day and you're like this is the life that I've been dreaming for you know this is the life that I foresee for my family and you're happy with what you're doing life is enjoyable right you I find that even people people that don't have yeah you have some days that they do stress and they worry about certain things because they don't have it but I find that people that don't have money as in some of my wealthier friends they are on happy because yes they have money but they're still not happy in that sense so it's in life they say it's what you make of it right happiness can just come from getting up going to the river just being in like your element a peace of mind is is happiness but um happiness is being able to get up and say all right we're gonna go to the beach we feel like we want to go buy some fish somewhere and we're gonna go cook on the beach and everybody just go out and enjoy themselves that is like another form of happiness if that's something that you're looking to like there's different forms of happy waking up and knowing that you, you you're not working a nine-to-five for somebody every day or you're not you're getting up and you're dreading to go to that workplace and to go punch in and you're in that rat race consistently um, thinking about holy shit where am I gonna find the next door to rent is coming up my mortgage is coming up like all these bills you have car payment all these stressors so people find happiness in different ways you waking up and say damn I got no rent to pay it's the first of the month got no rent got no mortgage to pay no car payment like you know because you've already set in stone those things to make sure that they are paid off ahead of time you know you have more money to do more things like travel um, invest in things do things with your family and this is why like investing is also so important and saving it always says not how much you make it's how much you save right because if you can make a minimum wage and save a lot a good amount of money you trust me it makes a whole lot of difference but I'm just I'm just waiting for mr. Williams I hope you guys like that little pep talk because sometimes we do need that inspiration and for me the vision that I have for my family it is quite a vision and we are working towards it sometimes they say you have to suck salt <laughs> in order to get what you want you have to minimize certain things um, in order to achieve your goal and that's certain things that we have you have to live um, below your means when it comes to certain things to achieve what you want and that is something that we have been doing but budgeting and making sure that we're able to get the things them that we want do the things them that we want to do and able to enjoy life guys I plan on retiring early I don't plan on waiting till I am 55 60 well 65 or 60 to retire I do not plan on doing that I plan on retire early whether I retire from working for somebody I plan on doing that and working for myself that is the ultimate goal right and doing something that I love to do that brings me enjoyment and I do it because I want to do it not because I feel like oh my gosh I need to do it because I need to make money else how am I gonna eat how my kids are going to eat right a lot of us and you see even with this pandemic it makes us realize I don't know if it's waking up some people but it's woken me up even extra more 
and to push harder for my goals and know that I'm determined to get what I want and nothing is going to stop me unless I stop myself from achieving what I want to achieve. So I hope this pandemic actually does open up a lot of people's lives and realize that certain things, if you find it's not working, change and don't be afraid for change. In life, you're always gonna change. You're gonna either change out friends, you're gonna change out the person that you're, you've been dating for how much years, you wanna change out the, either the furniture in your house, the job, or you want to do something or add on to what you have. But in life, every day, there is some form of change. If you're sitting there and there's no change, no progress, you're not going anywhere. You're not even living. You're just pretty much there waiting till your time come to basically lay to rest so always get up with the mind frame that today you had a rough day tomorrow can be a better day right so you know you had a rough day yesterday and it was a day that feel like it's gonna drag you in the dirt and you don't know how you're gonna get out get up tomorrow and say it's a new day let's start planning what did I do wrong yesterday that I can fix? How can I fix it? How can I make it better? And sometimes when we have a rough day or a bad week, we let that week beat us up. And then we just feel like our dreams and our aspiration that we're reaching for cannot go the way we plan. But trust me, let me tell you, with determination and you have the mindset, you can make it. Because I had a vision for my family, certain things, even just for myself and it took me a while but i never gave up on it trust me i never gave up and i was finally able to do what i wanted to do and maybe it will be revealed later on later on not right now um maybe we'll come and talk about it but i'm continuing to push push for what i want in life because you see once you give up it, it just becoming like your, your dreams, your vision is just done there. So never give up because the rich never gave up, never became rich by just giving up. They went through a lot of trials and error, right? They, I've heard stories of people that I know that are very wealthy that have tried businesses and they've business failed, right? And they've had multiple business before that one business that they had that took off and made them a millionaire and a billionaire right and speaking and I I can I can attest to some of it because I've been around those people I've seen their struggles their downfalls or nobody else saw their, their struggles and downfall but sometimes you just have that person that encourage you and just push you and say continue you can do it you need to have faith in yourself if I believe in you you should be able to believe in yourself and sometimes we need that to fuel us to say all right I know I can do this you have this person that believes in me so much and you know they're every day they're encouraging me and yet I don't believe in myself that's why I always say guys the only person stopping you is yourself and at the same time I do this as well and I also need to take my own advice because a lot of times sometimes certain things you feel like you want to give up on but I don't generally give up on it sometimes I'll put it on the back burner and say let me try something else but I always come back to it and push for what I want so I'm also encouraging you guys as well to do the same thing if you're trying to start something you're, you're trying to quit your job and you find another job that you really wanted to do but you don't know how to quit test the waters see how it is you know you want to build that dream house in Jamaica or the Bahamas or the Cayman Island or Trinidad or wherever or you decide that you want to leave um, the island and you know get your visa to see how it is oversee go after it continue pushing there is different ways venue and go the legit way about doing stuff strive for what you want in life because if you find that you're doing something and it's not making you happy change it if you're in that dead-end relationship and you see it going nowhere and you've been with the person for five years and they're telling you the same thing even though five years is a little bit long <laughs> five years is a long time to be with somebody and don't see no progress I'm sorry 
within being with a person two years, three years, and you're not seeing any progress or any change, and you're doing the same thing, same nothing, no progress, no nothing, try, switch it up, find means and ways to better yourself and progress. Change is a must if you want things to be better in life and go after your goals guys but i think that's enough rambling and enough car talk yeah for you guys i hope you enjoy this little car talk because i know you guys love my my little motivational talks and stuff like that but i'm just waiting on mr williams hopefully he's almost finished so um i got a few things that i got to go do so i'm gonna go do them and we'll we'll continue the journey with you guys vlogging mr williams came back and <laughs> oh gosh came back and then well i'm gone into the bread store they say forty thousand dollars later on groceries yeah mr williams said nothing can buy a jamaica but it's not even just out here it's overseas as well overseas as well um the price of groceries everything is going up everything oh there he is hot bread Ooh, my favorite <laughs> breakfast time oh it's hot at the burn my skin oh gosh so guys this is the one bread let me tell us let me eat bread i only go come on jamaica go eat bread you not give me brown bread let me eat brown bread oh you should have get one memphis who like with brown bread oh gosh yeah memphis he actually like the brown bread so but boy yeah, forty thousand dollars later, I say things can't buy Jamaica. But may I tell Mario say when we go overseas, things are already mad expensive over there with groceries, right? For those that live in Canada, know it's expensive. Especially if you're buying West Indian food, it's even more expensive. Things can't buy, All right? It's expensive just even buying the local stuff, much less trying to buy the stuff that we generally eat, like the Jamaican food, bread, and stuff like that mad expensive so it's just things are going up and it doesn't look like it's coming down no, prices is getting higher and higher Make you look so bad. I apologize, ma'am. You know, some love hot bread. Oh my gosh, guys, that bread alone with just some juice and water, and I'm good. I don't even need fatty with it. Like, I could just eat that alone, and I'm well satisfied. As some people will say, at girl now eat bread or drink bag juice. Me, I'm some that has some bag juice. Mama, mash it up. Oh, do we even buy bag juice? No, we didn't buy none, did you? I'll grab some already. Um, where you get you give me a list, right? Where the kiss go from? You say you give me a list, right? Up here, right? Your list. You give me a list. I get a list, right? Yeah, you get okay. a list. Where um, you get the kiss goes from? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna buy them again. I think they call it kiss go. We call it freezy. Hmm. I think in um Mega Mart. I think. Never like those stuff. You know, put it on your seatbelt, sir. You hear the noise beeping? Hmm? I am hungry. Uh, after 12 o'clock now, I miss the William haven't feed me yet. So you me when I stop there, why? I'm here. I miss all parch. No, and I'm here, you go. I may go by myself. Eh? Why not feed yourself? Oh, you always like so much talking. You see the hole? Yes, sir. You saw the hole deep? Yes, you yes. have. No, it? yes, I see it. I'm just dropping it, so I feel it. You're dropping it? Alright, you're dropping it. You can't drop it, I mean, I can't drop it, so I'm not dropping it too. No. Yes, you're so disgusting. Yeah, you're dropping it, you're chipping up on it. Oh, Lord. I don't need a robot. <laughs> oh, gosh. So. I'm going to sit in there, like, two drive away. Did you mean two drive away? I'm hungry, babes. I am hungry. Good mm, for you. The bread smells so good, but I broke.
look a piece of it right now. Can clean? Mm -hmm. Of course, man. I'm going to put it dirty. I'm going to put it in my face. <laughs> what was I doing for man to be dirty? You didn't come out of here. For when? When did I come out of the car? You didn't come out of here. Really? Uh, and I come in and sanitize my hand? You got a craft market and all that. Yeah, but that's the only place I've been. Mm -hmm. I haven't been that's elsewhere. That's all you can see on dirty. Mm, so, what it was it? Pa Patty and soup mats? If they have soup. Where do you soup? soup? Oh, and soup for drink. You don't drink soup since this much time this week? No. Hello, are you? You make them throw away the soup me. because when they eat up the soup, the best part of soup. So what am I supposed to do with it? You did? Did you come home? A fly. Did you come home and they heat up the soup and everybody ate and left your dinner and you didn't eat the soup and it stayed out all night on the stove. So you. Yo boy, yo. You know, no, so that can something there and then you have to talk about people. Back, you know? I even ran in, ran in, said, Look at the dash of the good, good soap. They say, I'll marry you. Best part of the soap. And, yeah, and they say the best I part for you. I'm ready for help. Oh, gosh, you're so funny. I'm going to drink so soon. I'm so bad. I'm not happy. You know, say, I love the soap. Oh, my goodness. I have to put up with this with guys this is a regular thing here regular thing that looks shine though with the uh, juicy if you've been beef starting an patty online. and me just say we are for Maria Maria went in to go get the patty so with the uh, fair who are fair view mall with it yeah so with their fair view mall at juicy beef patty there's quite a bit of line quite a bit of line and the kids them we are got school and stuff and the university um over there so i guess them they pan lunch now so everybody they pan lunch break so i see them coming them coming in i love seeing kids in uniform it just look that much neat my think say eh, overseas not even not just overseas as well i think all country should have kids in uniform straight up to high school yeah not just make it for private school because I usually overseas me find a private school well in Canada it's private school kids them where you wear uniform I think some schools in Toronto they do wear uniform I'm not quite sure but if anybody know let me know um, if they wear uniform but I mean, it's mostly private school um, and Catholic so there's Catholic but it shouldn't just be for Catholic school that wear uniform and for them farmer uniform overseas in a um, Catholic um, school I not believe in that because for them killed we they're not supposed to pass their knee but they're not strict like Jamaica when them say listen if you killed pass your knee you know come a school you go home until that that part is let down Uniform over school are a fashion statement to those kids them there because when miss them hire them knee and tie up like the Britney Spears video when she she was singing that one song in a uniform. That's pretty much what it is overseas when it comes to uniform. We love seeing kids in uniform and stuff like that. And plus it it's good for you know it um for kids it distinguish because at least for kids that don't have to that and then kids that do have you know okay you know like the latest gadget and stuff like that and it, it easier me, me just love me love see kids in a uniform that's just me me love me love see kids them in a uniform like love it love see see um the kids them out here in the islands them in uniform well dressed you know so them uniform nice and pressed the guys them in their nice cocky pants and you don't know out of them who has money from who don't have money and that's one thing we love about the, the, the uniform system too because you know kids and get bullied when it comes to that where they say oh overseas when it comes to certain clothes and if your parents don't have money like that and yeah wear a hammer down so they can tell that they the, the hype over the latest brand because who have a brand from who don't them the stuff they should not matter and you see, 
as adults too a lot of us get that twisted as well because them things say name brand is everything but brand isn't everything you can wear brand today and tomorrow you now wear no brand so me never understand what the hype is right and sometimes the stuff them that are not well everything is brand but me mean like name brand like a high tech brand like your Gucci your Prada where people in, in like brand should define who a person is are because you have brand that means you have it enough people they wear brand and them still not have it because they have to borrow to pay for that brand <laughs> so me always like to even see to see kids in uniform you know I love I love seeing kids in uniform it's just something it just give them that nice elegant polished look so everybody out here everybody have the intention to come by party the party shop full and a line up out the door. <laughs> yeah, so everybody have the same idea of eating some nice. But you see, can make no don't know where no else where we can get better tasting patty. But yeah, the, all the patty them we buy overseas, they don't come even close to out here. So the patty them out here is a must. Love it. Love it. Love it. Patty come. So, I got to mash up some patty because I'm hungry and I get some juice. Yeah, um, I get some juice. I love this one. This one is the cherry pineapple box juice. So, yeah, so we're going to go eat and we'll have a break. Oh, we'll see if people them like it. Big box side. Look at all the houses. This is one thing when you're coming to Jamaica, you always see you in the airport before you land. All these houses right here on the hill. I just love it. I just see all the houses on the hill. I love that setting. You just see houses like going up in the mountains. Yeah, instead of just like when you land overseas, you just see flat. The house them just in a like lines, flat. You don't see them on no hills or anything like that. But out here you see them flat and you also see them in the hills. You say in the island, island life, different different meds. Oh alright guys, so we just reached back home. Literally packed out the groceries and forgot to show you guys um what let me see, let me see, let me, let me make sure before I give you guys a full figure of what the damage was. Mm -hmm. Let me go give you guys the full <laughs> figure, give me one second. Okay, so I think that was the full figure if I'm not mistaken. Yes, the full figure was two because it's a job or so exactly forty thousand we just spent on groceries um i didn't even get to tell you guys what but as you can see there is the list <laughs> there's a list of stuff and me never me never show you so me never so me never show you guys what the um what i got we just me and Faye just packed out the stuff but it's just basic stuff and that's groceries for the month um at times we do massive groceries usually overseas we will do a massive grocery shop for the month 
and out here we we do groceries for the month too but we also try to do grocery every week and every two weeks just to see the difference so but sometimes it's just too hectic it's better you just buy everything one time and done so you don't have to go through all that so sorry but the next time i will definitely have to show you guys what we got for um the forty thousand. and as i say groceries gone up grocery has gone up um down here because maria spent and maria said but shan may not even see what me buy for that much but me tell him like when you go overseas forty thousand that's like four hundred Canadian are a little bit less than four hundred Canadian right and that is nothing like literally nothing comparing to what I guess like that it will be considered a lot forty thousand some people don't even make forty thousand a month um much less to spend that on groceries and we actually ended up shopping savvy i'm gonna go to fontana and i'm gonna go to progressive and i didn't go to mega mart any of those we went to the local Chinese man shop where you know say you can stretch your dollar a little bit further right so that's Is where we went back? somewhat it's not gonna come off so that's where we went shopping but Guys, I got some editing that I need to get done. Kinda don't feel well. Ugh. I don't know if because we never drink no tea this morning. I feel a little bit nauseous. But um I'm going to go finish editing. And I don't know what we're up to today, but if anything I will keep I'm you guys fried chicken. posted. Well, good night guys. I am actually here coming to end off the vlog i forgot to come and actually end the vlog so i am currently coming to end the vlog i am actually been here kind of just doing some work um behind the scenes work and stuff like that trying to get some stuff done so i'm just coming to sign off and yeah i forgot to come and sign off so i'm coming to say good night and I hope you guys had a good day. And I also hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog or little car rant and stuff like that, chat. And yeah. So I guess I will catch you guys in the next one. Make sure if you are not yet subscribed, make sure that you're subscribing. You're liking up the video and sharing up the video. And remember, don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend. So come and join the William fam where it's always a vibes over here and we will catch you in the next one guys stay blessed <laughs>